I started this project on the road to search for American character um, about 10 years ago. And my idea was that if I were mobile, if I moved around America in these times when our identity is in question, many of us are questioning not just what it means to be an American, but what it means to be a woman, what it means to be a, a person of color right now. Um, I thought that if I moved around and just listened to how people spoke, um, that I would be able to capture something about American character in this moment. To create these stories, I go into a community and I try to find out who has the most to say. I start with that. Who has the most to say about each side of that story? And I interview those people with a tape recorder and I get them to tell me about other people that they know who they feel had a lot to say, or even better, people who have expressed uh, a frustration that they didn't get the opportunity to say everything that they had to say, either from the media or to the authorities in the community. And then I take my tape, ho take my tape home and I put it in my Walkman and I repeat the words over and over again as just as they have said them. Um, and over time of working this way, what they have said begins to make an impression on my body. Not only have I not changed any of the words, I haven't changed people's mistakes, right? So uh, I try to say uhs and ums, um, slips when people say the wrong words uh, as much as I can. Um, now, sometimes I do switch chunks of speech around in order to tell the story because I have to use only the verbatim words to get the story told. These people who were very different from me spoke to me, to my heart, and I couldn't walk away from that on both sides of the story. And I think it's amazing uh, in fact, when you find yourself in difference. And that's the challenge of our new century, that we, in fact, I think, will find more of ourselves in difference.